Hey everyone, I just came across these words uh, as I looked them up online. I, I just was looking for something that tries to express the beauty of Jesus's life. And, and this is what I found. It says, Jesus is beautiful because of who he is. Every single facet of his character is gloriously beautiful. His love, joy, playfulness, fierceness, humility, honesty, cleverness, justice, dedication, wisdom, faithfulness, and a thousand other traits are what make him stunningly beautiful. That's, somebody wrote that. I don't know who wrote that, but it, I thought that was good. And, and here's the thought. At the cross, for the joy set before Jesus, he was willing to trade his beautiful life away for the ashes of his horrible death on the cross. And it was all because his believers would be able to trade the ashes of our sin-broken lives for his beautiful salvation. So I've just been thinking about this all-important trade that happened at the cross where Jesus is really, in a sense, trading away his beautiful life for the ashes of the cross and the horrible death that that was. And then those of us who are put our faith in Jesus, we get to trade the ashes of our life of sin before we knew Christ uh, in for the beauty of his salvation, the beauty of Christ in you, the hope of glory and, and, and a relationship with God. So uh, this is expressed in uh Isaiah 61, it's familiar, I'm sure, to many of you. It's quoted by Jesus in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It's Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Beauty for ashes. So I don't know how you feel about what you've been apart from Christ. Uh, many of us feel like it's pretty much ashes. I know uh, that's the way I feel. But what a beautiful exchange that we, we get to receive Jesus, get to place our hope and our trust in him. And um, that beautiful life of Christ by his spirit will enter right into us and bring peace and joy and forgiveness and abundant life. So there's a song uh, by Don Moen called At the Foot of the Cross that kind of talks about this trade. <laughs> judgment you received and you've won my heart and you've won my heart now I can trade these ashes in for beauty and wear forgiveness like a crown coming to kiss the feet of mercy I lay every burden down at the foot of the cross at the foot of the cross where I am made complete given me life through the death you bore for me and you've won my heart and you've won my heart now I can 
trade these ashes in for beauty and wear forgiveness like a crown coming to kiss the feet of mercy I lay every burden down at the foot of the cross I trade these ashes in for beauty and wear forgiveness like a crown coming to kiss the feet of mercy I lay every burden down at the foot of the cross And you've won my heart And you've won my Can trade these ashes in for beauty and wear forgiveness like a crown coming to kiss the feet of mercy I lay every burden down at the foot of the cross I trade these ashes in for beauty and wear forgiveness like a crown Coming to kiss the feet of mercy, I lay every burden down. I lay every burden down, every burden. I lay every burden down at the foot of the cross. Man, at the foot of the cross, it's good to meditate on that any time of the year. Whether it's the season when we especially remember the resurrection or all year long. At the foot of the cross, what a great trade. Jesus traded his beautiful life for the cross, the horrible death of the cross. And believers, we get to trade the ashes of our life in for the beauty of Christ. What a, what a trade. What a great swap. What a free gift Jesus is. God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend.